Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we're here with episode 224 of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the previous episode, we started off by finishing off Old Friends, where we took down Ildari Sarothril in High Point Tower, who is obviously summoning the Ashborn to try and kill Neloth, but yeah, we better stop to that. And upon returning, he asked us to pick up a copy of Wind and Sand all the way at the end of um, Volskig. So we had to go back to Skyrim, all through all those puzzles all over again, just to pick up a bloody book. But we got that, and now he's not giving us anything else, so we made our way over to White Ridge Barrow, where we are going to be searching for our final black book. Uh, so far, we have gone through the most of it, I should say. Um, we're in the second half now with the Sanctum. Um, we found like a little den where this uh, mad scientist has been making those exploding spiders. So he's got a little machine over there that makes them. So, yeah, without further ado, we're going to carry on. So let's see what he's got here. Bits and bobs. Uh, iron ore, that's good. Silver ore, leather strips. It's just a mining place really, isn't it? Hmm. Wait, what's that? Ruby geode. Okay, so this will be um, this will be for the spiders then, won't it? That's where you got all the rubies. Okay, so we're done with that way now. Awesome. So let's uh, head back downstairs. We came through here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Uh, I could have sworn there was a ah, it's down here. That's oh wait no, and this is like a secret room, wasn't it? Yeah, which we also checked out. Okay, I'm just uh, kidding. You know, get me bearings, remember what we did last time. Uh, so I think we're done with this part of the place, aren't we? Just gonna head down and back out. Uh, did we clear everything in this place? I can't recall, they're only little spiders if we didn't anyway, so... It's no biggie. Uh, I don't exactly want to drop down there. Unless we can get back up, I don't know. Hmm. I don't even know where it leads. There's something down there. Oh. Well, that went well, didn't it? Who's. Okay. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's, uh, let's head down here. Let's see what it is that we're missing out on. Uh, apparently, it's even nothing. Oh, wait, there's a root over here. Uh, hello. Chest. Uh, yep. Junk. 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 Junkity junk. I knew that was coming. Don't think I didn't. Little albino spider. Creep. There. Yeah. You got nothing. Hmm. Not happening. Okay, that just takes us back up to where we were, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Alright. Odd. Ah, I thought I might have uh, opened them. Okay, um. Seems to be it, really. Hello. When I hit you, I expect you to take damage. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so we're seemingly done in this room. Might not even go on that much longer, really. Okay, we're through. We're through. Uh, okay. Hello. Oh, there was a word wall down there as well. Oh, and a dragon priest. Cos Dukan. Just in case. Hey! Stop dodging my attacks. Why would you do that? Especially if you're not actually going to do anything. You might as well just accept your fate. You're multitasking. I'm letting you words of power and whilst I'm just attacking you because you're not doing anything at all. Okay, there you go. That was literally the easiest dragon priest battle 
ever. And there we go, we're right at the end. Very nice. And that is the place cleared. Alright, so guys, this is the very last black book, The Solo Regent. Alright. Okie doke. Our second to last trip to Apocrypha. Because obviously we're going to go once more um, at the to finish off the uh, the main quest. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this one isn't too long. Actually, before I forget, I'm going to spend the word on that new word that I picked up. Yeah, for, it's the last one for Cyclone. So, are there any more we've not finished yet? Uh, Storm Call. That's it. I assume there's probably other shots have not even started yet, but we'll see. Uh. Hey! Oh, 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 it's dark. It's dark, and apparently I don't like it. Uh, sure. Oh, bloody hell. It's like the uh, bleeding. I can't see anything at all. It's like the. whatchamacallit? The shud. What, what's it called? Like the Thieves Guild thing, the Nightingales, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the that, like sort of test. The, those like trials you have to go through to prove that you're worthy. Right, oh, take dead. Stop. Oh, no. Hi, Seeker. Don't kill me. I can see, I can see. Need the light, need the light. Come. I know it's you. What's that? The spell tones over here, but I know that I've already got them off, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, bloody hell. Where do we go in here? Ooh. Fast healing. Yeah, believe it or not. I already know it. Oh, I should have... Uh, forgot to... Like, wait and get my shot back. Oh, well. Got him. Can we heal, please? We're all reset. I assume this is all going to be one big location, isn't it? Well, it's, a bit, it's a bit too big to just be one room. Let's get into the light. Oh, that was a vindicator. Okay, uh, hmm, like it over there. It absolutely is. Alright guys, that is that is our very last black book. Very last black book like. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. No books. No wisdom. Just you, Fatalomio. Uh, what's that? Uh, Flamethrower. Yeah, we already know that. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get it. 
done and done. Hmm. What secrets can you embow onto me that I can steal and keep for my own? Seeker of Might. Combat skills are 10% more effective. Ooh, that's quite nice. Seeker of Sorcery. All spells cost 10% less magicka. Hmm. All stealth skills are 10% more effective. Well, I'm a mage, so I'm going to go with Seeker of Sorcery. And with that, um, there we go. Let's head back. Well, that's the uh, last time that we're going to learn anything new from it, and once we do the uh, one for the main quest, it's basically going to be over like in a few minutes because the fact that we've basically already done all the hard work for it, because it doesn't expect you to have uh, already read through Waking Dawn, or was it Waking Dreams, whatever it was called, the very first block book that we read through. It just expects us to have picked it up and moved on with it, so... Thankfully... Oh yeah, we could have gone through the beam quick exit, couldn't we? Oh well, okay, I guess we'll go the long way. Forgotten about that. I was, I was thinking there, and I was going through the door, I was like, wait, why wasn't the exit sign there? Because, you know, it's the way that I've already been to uh, dump out all my treasures and stuff. And I seem to be having difficulties finding a very simple exit. Uh, but okay, so I don't know what's going to happen now. Um, especially don't know what the case of the black box because I can't get rid of them. Because it, it just keeps them in my inventory. I expect we'll probably have to keep waking dreams on us for the sake of the last mission. Well, do we keep the black box for ourselves? Do we sell them to Nelith or something? I don't know. Because usually they won't force you to keep stuff in the inventory, like the Elder Scroll. Like you, like, you can sell that to... Uh, what do you want to call it? The, the Orc Librarian at the college, like which I actually did. I think I showed that on screen, I'm not sure if I did. But, um, yeah, I don't know if it's like the same case with the Black Box, because we don't really need them, other than to change... Actually, no, yeah, in that instance, yeah, because you can use it to change your skills, so maybe you do keep it on you at all times. Or maybe once you finish the main storyline, you can dump them. Alright. Let's head back. Hopefully we'll have the next um, main side quest. I actually know that there is a side quest from Nelf that you can't get until you finish the main Dragonborn story, which is, um, one, I think it's the second, he has two experimental subject side quests. Obviously we've already done the first one. The second one you unlock once you've finished and killed Mirak. So... Day, yeah, friend. of course you want to tell me about everything all over again, don't you? Now that my tower is healed, I can finish some of my more delicate experiments. I have the black book. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book around. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. <laughs> now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. Okay, can I help you with your research? Perhaps later. For now, I have a slightly more personal request. Okay. Do you see, I'm a collector of staffs, magical staffs, in particular those made by Azra Nightwilder. Through some divinations, I believe I've located one. If you retrieve it, I'll give you a staff of my own making. Nightwilder's creations don't really hold up in comparison to what can be made today, but they have a sentimental value for me. You understand? All right, who was Azra Nightwielder? He was the original Shadow Mage. His advances in magic are legendary. Less well known is that he was also a pioneer in the field of enchanting staffs. Every staff of his that I have uncovered has led me to greater understanding. Today we would consider his techniques rudimentary, but the genius is still evident. Okay. Alright. Finally, I can get back to work. Finally. Okay, uh, wait. Ah. Oh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Magic. Where's the. Why is it. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Alright, so where is this stuff then? Uh. Oh, it's in Skyrim. What are you doing in Skyrim? Stupid staff. 
All right, well, might as well put back over. Why is it facing the wrong way? The little Skyrim logo. There we go, fixed it. Top back in, top back in. No losing, no sparring. There we go. Okay, uh, well, at least you've been everywhere. So where is this? Arathheim. Oh, is it the one that's filled with bleed former? I think it is. Die. At least we're just rushing through, and at least it's not. I don't think it's a multiple locate, multiple um, leveled area, so to speak. Yeah. Oh no, it's a bandit place. Uh, just ignore me. I'm just getting the staff. That's it. Sorry. Nope. Right. You didn't see anybody. Whoop. <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought then. Okay, there we go. We're out. I think I thought it was all the time the first time I came through, didn't I? And then I was quite pleasantly surprised it was just bandits. Um, right, where are we going here? Let's go up to Solstein. Well, that was easy. Simple, uh, quickly go and fetch this for me. Well, you know, we've been everywhere in Scar, we might as well be the one to go and do that. Let's quickly pop over, pop back. And I think, unless I'm mistaken, that is actually the, the last thing we can do for Neloth at this point. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Might be one or two more. I'm not too certain, I'll have to double check on that to be honest. But if it doesn't give us anything new now, um, we'll try and see if we can finish up the Skull stuff because we've still got another mem mem quest that we haven't actually activated there yet. Dude, I think he's trying to poison you, but <laughs> um, I've got Azra's staff. You didn't have to speak a word. I could sense it the moment you came in. You've proven your word, and I'm as good as my word. Take this staff from my personal collection. I think you will find it useful. Okay. Yeah. Are we done? If you're going to be up Nothing new. Stay out of my way. Dude, chill. Alright, well, I mean, he didn't give us anything new last time either, so maybe in a matter of time he'll give us another one. But, um, like I said, I'll check between this episode and the next if he actually has anything else to give. Now, I'm going to do another check, and guess where? The Glacial Cave, because I want that bloody werber. And I want to take him down, and then we'll get that quest finally over and done with. Is he here? Is he bollocks? <sighs> Urgh. This is so annoying. This is like his most popular spawn, and yet he's never here. What the hell is going on? Oh, Morag Tong assassins. Morag Tong, is that all you got? They're the ones that we basically destroyed. I'm convinced this guy just doesn't exist. Definitely should have been seen him by now. Um, okay, where are we going here? It's, uh, Skull Village, yeah. Hmm, it's really annoying that. He's not showing up, but what can one do? Oh, yeah, there's a dude still dead. I do not blame you. I know he chose me. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing it at ten. Why is she still stood there? How long has it been now since we did that uh, quest? It was quite a while ago. Terrible, terrible, terrible times. Why is no one talking to me? Nobody's talking, that's so really annoying. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know what? I'm going to actually finish the main quest. I know I said I wasn't going to wait, to, but no one's talking to me until we do, and so... Let's just get it over and done with. At least then we'll know everything's available to us as well, that last mission from Neloth included. Because there's no point, and plus that mirror is going to keep nicking my, uh... My... Dragons, anyway. Use the Benwell. Okay. Uh, uh, what are we doing? Benwell, Benwell. Oh, I've already actually got it. I think I Okay. Listen, you. I've defeated you once. Not needed twice. Alright. Alright, just give me one second. Deal with these fools. Oh, it was the clone, was it? Was it the clone? Alright. Let's go. Huzzah, let us fly. Fly. When riding a dragon, you can lock onto a nearby target and attack it with magic. You can also command the dragon to attack your target. First, travel while driving the dragon by using the world map. I don't. I, 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 I have to admit, I'm not familiar with the controls. What are you doing? Oh, he's just taking care of it himself. He's doing this. Okay. Oh. I just want to. I just want to go to Mirak, dude. Just keep attacking him. You don't need to keep flying off, dude. It's gonna take forever. My word. It says like fast travel using the world map and it's like not even... Nothing's showing up on the world map. Can we just go? I just wanna... God for that. Feed no what are you what no, what are you doing? No. Let's head towards Mirak. He's over this way. <laughs> He's up a bit. Come on, let's head up. Head up. Up. Up, you see up. You see up. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
just as Hermaeus Mora intended. He is a fickle master, you know. But now I will be free of him. My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. Dragon dude, it's a bit of a dick move. Double stop. Dude, can you stop cheating? <sighs> My word. What are we doing here? gonna disappear again isn't he? Because he's a cheating son of a bitch. You gotta do kill your other dragon. Poor guy. Well that's all you got now buddy. You're basically screwed. Because once I kick your ass again for the third time, you ain't got no, no dragons to steal the souls of. You idiot. Except the fact. Oh! What the hell is he slapping me with there? Because that was tough. Oh! No, 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 Cheating again, are you? Oh, using another dragon, are you? Wait, how many dragons are there? They just keep on coming. Come on. No, don't crash. Oh, good. You're going again, are you? There are no other dragons. Definitely no other dragons, so I know you're cheating if you do it again. They? Oh, come on, come on, don't get stuck on things now. Alright, you. <laughs> Why is he gonna just get it done in a couple of swipes to be forever? <sighs> Alright, at least I'm in cover. Not again, dude. Don't cheat. Where have you gone? You're not even... You do think to escape me, Mirak. Ooh. You can hide nothing. 
suffering from me. Uh, no matter. I found the new dragon boy to serve me. Uh. May he be rewarded for his service, as I am. Yeah, harder she with barely attention. No, oh, serve me deeply, and I will continue to be richly rewarded. Dude, yeah, it's kind of <laughs> this person is busy. He is deceased. All right, got a whole mess of unique stuff. Time to go home. Right. Wait. Did it not? Oh, hang on. I saw this. Oh, right. Okay. Right. I remember this. Okay. So basically, if in your skill tree you decide that you can no longer be asked with any of these um, it'll give you all your pip, but basically the same as uh, led, making a skill legendary but uh, you don't have to get it to a level 100 but we're not going to do that, Are you kidding me? heading back to soul slime and that does that guys, that wraps up the main quest line for uh, dragon bomb so there you go, that's how you do it Oh, and we're back. And there we go. Hermes Mora taught me the final word of power of the Ben will shout, killing Stone in the process. I used the shout to tame Mirak's dragon and flew to his temple. Where if I wasn't killed, Mirak will never threaten Soul Slime again. Hells yeah. I hope you will yeah. Me word. All of our things that we can talk to everyone again now. So I can't find the person I need to talk to though. Uh, for that last quest. It's been a pleasure. Oh, hello. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean? Is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Silver Mirak is dead. When my father sacrificed, it was not in vain. He died to free us. Tell me, was it the only way? Did he need to die? I couldn't have defeated Mirak without Stone's help. Then, it was the Allmaker's will, as it said. I know I should not doubt it. But it is good to hear all the same. Thank you. Cool. I know it is not my place, but may I offer a word of advice? A warning. Sure, what is it? As shaman of the skull, I am charged with the spiritual well being of my people. While you are not of the skull, you are skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. My father was a noble man, and a true Skull. Mm -hmm. My heart is still heavy with the loss of my father. Are you sure you're ready to be Shaman of the Skull? I have been preparing for it all my life. There is no question that I'm ready. What? What? What is it? It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but this is a path I never chose. I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even the village chieftain. That could still happen, Kunze. <laughs> not if Fenari has anything to say about it. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's all right. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. Okay. I'll make her guide you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know there's someone I need to speak to to... It's like a delivery quest thing, but it's not showing up on the map. It's just not showing up. Um. 
Hmm. Well, it's time to wrap up now anyway. Obviously, the only quest we've got active at the moment is um, fill your bonds, which I still need to bleed and do, but he's not showing up anywhere. It's doing my head in. Um, so let's save the game there. Okay, so in the next episode, I'm going to basically try and wrap up as many quests in the main settlements. So um, the only one we've got in Raven Rock is to collect the rest of those East Empire pendants. So I might have a look up some of those locations, see if we can get a crack on some of them. See what Nelith has still got available for us and see if I can get that quest that's in the Skull Village to start. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, try to like, comment and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode 225. Bye, guys.